my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my September favorites. So if you want to see everything that I've been using and loving for this past month, please keep watching. So this month, I feel I have a little more products than usual. This month was really interesting for so many reasons. Uh, we started transitioning into fall, which was amazing, but my skin also went through a lot this month. It was probably a combination of stress, the change in the weather, and then all the products that I had to use to get my skin back right. My skin is still extremely dry and dehydrated, but we are rehabbing her and we are getting there. So I want to start with skincare first because I have some things that really helped me this month. So the first thing I wanna talk about is a moisturizer that I became hooked on again. Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. And this is a product that I used to use religiously. And then I started getting into some of my other moisturizers and I put this down, but I always knew I would come back to it because it's such a staple. This is marketed as an anti-aging, just regular moisturizer. I was using this as a nighttime cream, especially when my skin was very oily. But right now my skin has been so dry that I've been using this during the day. So this has really become my new favorite moisturizer for the daytime. I am trying to wait until the Sephora sale to buy my regular Belief Aqua bomb moisturizer for the morning for the fall and winter but I don't know if I can do that because this will be gone probably in about a week. This is a very very creamy thick and emollient moisturizer. It's perfect for use in the nighttime if you have extremely oily skin but if you do have a drier type of skin or if your skin is just going through a lot and it really needs hydration this is perfect for use during the day. So when I'm not using this I'm using an oil. And you guys are going to be surprised because I think I've spoken about this product in a few videos, probably in a few vlogs as well and on Instagram. And I've spoken about how this wasn't my favorite. It's still not my favorite, but I've definitely been using it now more than ever. So this is the Biosan Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Now this is a product that I received in Influencer. So every month they send me out products. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. I'm always very, very truthful with you guys. So I received this in the middle of the summertime I believe and I hated it because it's for use during the daytime but like I said traditionally I'm very very oily so this just didn't work for me now it's a great product and I do like it it's just not for me but I'm finding that while my skin is very very dehydrated and dry right now this has been perfect for use in the daytime I rub it into my palms and I basically pat it into my skin and then I blot off the excess oil that's really been working for me that's what I did today and it looks like my face is glowing it's really just because I need a lot of intense hydration so I think maybe I'll like this a little more especially during the winter time but this is definitely dependent upon the season and overall oils for myself just aren't usually for the daytime I would more likely use an oil at night but a vitamin c product is better for use during the daytime so I'm still not in love with this product but for this use right now it's great Okay, another product I've been loving is this Tend Skin Solution for Ingrown Hairs and Razor Bump. Now, I would recommend this product for any man or woman who does any type of hair removal, whether it's tweezing, shaving, using an epilator, waxing, or electrolysis. This product is gold. Like, it's gold. <laughs> if you are experiencing any ingrown hairs or razor bumps, this will get your skin right. It's very simple in terms of ingredients, but when I tell you this just smooths out your skin and it just, it's everything. I love this. One of my guy friends actually recommended this to me. Like I knew I had to go to one of my guy friends who's really into skincare, but also is a man just because men typically get more ingrown hairs on their face and such. So they would know how to treat it. This is just golden standard product. And I picked this up at Target, but you can also get it on Amazon. Okay, speaking of hair removal, the next product I wanna talk about is for use in areas specifically where you remove hair, but I use this all over my body. This is a Moroccan mitt, and this is from the brand Zakia's. So I purchased this from Amazon about a week and a half ago, and you guys, this changed my life, okay? I typically have very dry, rough skin on my body. I also get waxed, so for me, making sure that my whole entire body is exfoliated is of great importance. This is just the single-handedly best thing you can do 
for amazing smooth silky skin i use this on my arms and my legs first because those are like rougher areas of my body and you can literally see the dead skin start to peel up it is kind of gross but you know that it's really working previously i was using an exfoliating mitt from the dollar tree I'm never going back to that dollar mitt. This is $10. It better last at least five months. But I can tell you, after my first time using it, I was hooked. I was vlogging about it. This is amazing. If you are removing any hair anywhere, if you're shaving, whatever, you should be exfoliating that area. It will help to brighten the skin and it will also help prevent ingrown hairs and razor bumps, anything like that. But this is also just great over your whole body. My body felt like a baby. Like I just wanted to go rub up against somebody because my skin was so soft and smooth. So if you are looking for some Something to really exfoliate your skin without having to buy a product that's costly that you have to repurchase definitely check out this it is a game changer I promise okay the next skincare product I want to talk about is an OG product these are the Biore nose clearing deep cleansing strips and like many of you guys, I started using these in my early teens. I believe my mom was using them and we would do them every so often as like our spa days. I guess I started a self-care as like a child, which is amazing. Do that with your children. Get them in the habit of really just taking care of themselves and taking a moment to just appreciate themselves and do something nice for their just mind, body, and spirit. I promise it will make all the worlds of difference. But yeah, so I started using this as a child and recently one of my friends used this and I was like, you know what? I need to get back into using these once a week or maybe a little more stretched out because I get so many blackheads on my nose. I sweat on my nose first. So sweat, dirt, oil, makeup, everything just gets trapped in my pores and I do have a lot of blackheads, specifically just right in my nose area. This just helps so much. It's something so inexpensive that you can repurchase at Target or wherever you get your uh, beauty items from amazing i'm never going back to anything else i tried using the target brand because i'm a believer of store brands and generic products but it worked horribly so i'm sticking with the biore brand and i love these Okay, my last skincare product that I want to talk about is something that I found through my girl Christian on Instagram. I just adore her. She's so amazing. She's so beautiful. She's just beautiful inside and out. She posted these clean towels that were reusable. And I thought, hmm, that's a really good idea. And I started thinking about the skin concerns that I deal with acne, hyperpigmentation, everything like that. And it dawned on me that I should really not be reusing my washcloth. So typically uh, I use a washcloth that is only for my face and I would throw it in the hamper maybe every three days once it starts to smell like it's not clean out of the washer. And I probably shouldn't be doing that. You guys know that I suffer with acne and when I started looking into this product, I just realized this is really for somebody like me. So these are the Clean Skin Club Clean Towels and I think these are the extra large variety but this is what they look like. It's gonna wash out in the screen. Um, I'll actually take out a cloth and show you. I've spoken about this in a vlog before and I will link that down below. This is not a sponsored post. I am an affiliate with them, but that just means that I give you guys a discount and then I get a portion of the sales that I generate. Listen to how thick this one-time use face towel is. Are you listening? Okay, this is not some thin little napkin that you're using on your face. This is an amazing high quality towel. It also stretches. It's biodegradable. It's soft. It's comfortable. I've been using these every single day since I received this box in the mail. And you guys, I am hooked. Now, off of first glance, I thought, ooh, that seems really like wasteful to use one towel a day. But when I thought about all the bacteria that's growing on a wet washcloth in my bathroom, I was disgusted. I used these for the first time and I was floored. Now, they are kind of reusable in a sense that if you want to use one in the morning, wash your face, hang it up to dry and use it at night, 
you could. I'm not going to recommend you to do that because I think the whole premise behind these clean towels is that every time you wash your face, you use a new one. But when I tell you that I am hooked, I'm hooked. So if you guys are just looking for something to really help your skin out, these aren't like super eco-friendly because you're actually throwing them away, but they are biodegradable. So they're not going to harm the environment. But if you're looking for something like this, I think you would really enjoy them. Like I said, I'm going to link down below the vlog where I actually first tried them out and I was hooked. I will be repurchasing more when my box runs out. And this is probably the one and only thing I will ever put on auto replenish just because I believe in it so much. Now, I haven't seen a difference in terms of my acne through using this solely, just because I said this month has been super stressful and I've been getting... I still had acne. It wasn't horrible this month, but I am still breaking out. But my breakouts are more from hormonal issues and not necessarily just having a dirty face. That's a common misconception. But, um... I think these will help overall. So that's why I'm obsessed with them. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I am hooked. Okay, now let's get into hair. I want to talk about, oh, let's talk about tools first. So if you've been watching my weekly vlogs, you know that I've been struggling with the health of my hair. Also, if you've been keeping up with my hair care journey, I will link the most recent video that I did down below where I spoke about how I had to chop my hair off in June and it's still not where it needs to be in the back. There is still a section that is breaking off. I am now switching to doing protein treatments every month and I have switched back from a nano titanium flat iron to a ceramic flat iron. So that flat iron that I am now using is the GHD Classic Professional One Inch Styler. I'll insert a picture right now. It's currently in my bathroom. But I've had this flat iron for probably four to seven-ish years and it still works. It's still amazing. GHD flat irons are a little more expensive but I love it. I have the one inch variety because my hair is not that long anymore. It works great but the one thing that I want to say is I think the nano titanium plates in my previous Babyliss flat iron were drying out my hair because the first time I used my uh, GHD flat iron again this year which was like a week ago or two weeks ago my hair felt instantly more hydrated healthier it just felt like the moisture was being locked in my hair instead of just like evaporating through the flat iron plates. I just, I'm hooked. So I'm not going to be using my uh, Babyliss flat iron anymore. Maybe I'll give it to my mom, but I really think for my hair type, I need a ceramic flat iron. So I may venture out and get a GHD two inch flat iron later down the line, but right now I'm loving that one inch styler and I think it's really going to make a difference in the health of my hair. So along with that, I want to talk about this silk sleeping cap that I received from My K Silk. You guys know that I have worked with them uh, on a few videos in the past. They send me things, I review them for you guys, and I'm also usually given a coupon code, which I will insert in the screen. This is just everything. So I already had a silk sleeping cap from months and months ago. It was gold. I ended up giving it to my mom because now I have a new one that's so much cuter in this cute little pink and green print. But I love that this, once again, is silk. So it helps just keep my hair smooth, which is of most important, but also it doesn't strip the moisture from my hair like a cotton cap would do. I'm obsessed with this and they're also not too expensive. And something like this will last you about a year or probably even more. Now, the one thing that I will say is that if you have big, natural, fluffy, amazing, voluminous hair or a lot of hair, you might not be able to use this because there's not a lot of space back here. Now, it does fit in terms of my head being large, but in terms of volume of hair, there's not a lot of space back here. So this might not be the best for everybody, but I've been loving it. Uh, I did a giveaway this month on my channel and this is the only sleeping cap I will ever wear. Silk, I'm obsessed. And along with that, they sent me some of their uh, small scrunchies. So they did send me some larger ones many, many months ago. And I was using those when I work out because I'm trying to lessen the breakage that I'm experiencing in my hair. A lot of people said that it might be due in part to me wearing a ponytail, even though I really only wear them to work out and I try to make them really, really loose. So I was so excited when they sent these skinnier ones to me because the larger silk scrunchies are great. But like I said, if you have 
thin fine hair it's going to slip right out of it so this is more like a traditional hair tie because it's skinny but it's also not damaging i am obsessed with these you guys once again i will never go back to using any other type of scrunchie i am going to see if they have black ones because when i wear these out in public i feel a little silly because it looks like a scrunchie so i will see if they have black ones but just the fact that this is not damaging my hair i'm obsessed so I will leave my coupon codes uh, in the screen and down below in the description box if you'd like to check those out. Whew. Okay, now let's do fragrance because you guys know that I'm obsessed with fragrance. So the first fragrance I want to talk about, I don't know if I've included it in a previous monthly favorites, maybe not. This is a purchase that I actually blindly bought based off a recommendation from my girl Vividly Mimi. I will link her channel down below. I think that's what the channel is called, but if it's not, I'm going to link it down below. She's amazing. She's just a kind-hearted, amazing, beautiful woman, once again, inside and out. She does videos uh, usually with fragrance and beauty and fashion. She also does some vlogging and she told me that I would love this. So this is the Nina Ricci. Uh, I think it's called the LX. Let me read it. Uh oh. Am I getting that old? This is the LX Stoss Eau de Parfum Rose Absolute. This is everything. I have it on today. It's a rose Oudy scent. It smells a lot like Maison Francis Kirk John Oud Satin Mood, but it's more rosy and less heavy and less cologne -y smelling. If you have that one, you can still get this. I recommended this to my girl Lorraine, and I think she has that MFK one, but she loves this also. It's dark, it's sweet, it's oudy, it's rosy. Um, and the amazing thing is actually that MFK designed this fragrance as well. So I'm going to leave a link down below that I found. I believe on Wikipedia, of all the scents that Francis Kirkjean has designed for other brands, because this smells really similar to his Oud Satin Mood, but I think it's almost better in my opinion because it's sweeter and it's a little more feminine. It's just beautiful. I've been loving it. And the next one I've been loving is even more new and I actually unboxed this on my channel this month and I will leave it down below. This is Maison Francis Kirkjean Grand Soir. Now MFK Grand Soir is just everything. This smells like amber, something very heavy and musky with like base notes of cologne. I wanna say it has tonka bean, benzo and clay, amber and something else. This is beautiful. It's more in line with masculine centered scents, but you guys know as I'm aging, hopefully gracefully, uh, I'm really starting to get into more masculine of center scents. I love a good androgynous scent, but I'm really into masculine scents right now. I think the juxtaposition of myself loving everything feminine, but wearing a deeper kind of masculine scent is just really, really sexy. I'm really into juxtaposition in fashion and beauty, and this is everything. It's perfect. Perfect for fall. I love this. I think I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Not that I'm going anywhere, but I just want to wear this with a nice comfy sweater and a fedora and some boots and just go gallivanting through the city. I just... Grand Soir is everything. It's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea, especially for ladies, but I am just totally here for it. Okay, next I want to share, oh, one more MFK scent. So in that MFK uh, haul video, which I have linked down below, I tried this rose scent. And this is El Homme a la Rose. This is basically a la Rose for him. <sighs> amazing. In that video when I tried this scent, my entire face lit up. I got so excited. You guys know what that means. It meant that I loved it. I wore it the next day when I went to move my friend in. It was hot. I was sweating. I was moving around. The scent didn't last extremely long on my skin, but thank goodness I sprayed it in my top. And even when I got home, I could smell it. This is a beautiful scent. I love rose scents, but they have to be a specific type of rose. So the MFK a la rose for her is just, it's too typical. There's nothing amazing about it. This is a tart, juicy rose. It smells a little masculine because it has a lot of fresh notes in it also, but this is everything. I will absolutely be purchasing this the first day of spring next year. I am obsessed and I'm gonna have to save it because I've already used half of it up. 
amazing i would love to smell it on a man but it just smells so lovely on a woman with the warmth of your skin mm, everything okay the next product i want to talk about you guys is actually a soap and this is by white barn i purchased this at bath and body works probably six months or so ago because i haven't been this year yet so maybe even more than six months ago but this is the champagne toast foaming hand soap and it is everything you guys the champagne toast candle makes me sneeze but this as a hand soap is beautiful it smells like peaches and just gold opulence it's just beautiful i love it i've been using it in my guest bathroom and it is fabulous i'm obsessed Okay, the one makeup item I have for this month, like who am I? Only one makeup item. But honestly, you guys know, quarantine, I'm not really leaving the house. And when I do, because I have to wear a mask, I'm wearing lip balm. But I recently became a Bite Beauty ambassador, which I'm so happy about because I'm not an ambassador for any brand except Bite Beauty. And Bite Beauty is a brand that I was introduced to many, many years ago when I was working at Sephora. I fell in love. I've been to the lip lab. I've made a custom lipstick. I have probably seven or so lipsticks from them. I've never tried their lip gloss. So this is the new Yay Sayer Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. I love this because this is a plumping lip gloss without the tingling and burning sensation. A lot of times when I try other lip glosses that have plumping properties, Properties, they really sting your lips. Now that sensation usually doesn't last too long, but I know for some people that can really turn them off. So this uses cinnamon oil and one more ingredient so that your lips actually aren't burning. It's very comfortable on the lips. It's extremely glossy. It looks beautiful. It does have a fair amount of color to it also. And it also has a really cool mechanism where you twist this up and this top is not like a brush top. It's not a wand applicator. It just comes through the middle of it and it's kind of like a matte applicator it's really interesting but I love this I have this color and I have cinnamon twist I believe but this is my favorite just because it's a creamy color it has no shimmer in it so you can't feel it on your lips but it is very glossy and it has amazing staying power I was sent this in PR but if I didn't like it, I'd tell you, and I am loving it. Okay, so now let's get into fashion. The first thing I want to share is a dress from Shein that I purchased in the summertime, maybe in July or so. It's a little wrinkled right now, so I will insert a picture on the screen, but it's pretty much a denim baby doll dress, and I have been obsessed. I wear this probably every week. I need to give it a rest so that it doesn't disintegrate, but I really love it. It's comfortable. It's easygoing. I will say that that I had to go up to a size 3XL and traditionally in Shein I wear a 2X but if you are busty definitely size up because it will pull and it'll just look bad so I had to go up to a 3X it fits perfectly it's a little long but I don't mind and I love it the next item I want to share is actually a robe and I have been obsessed. It was a little cold in Atlanta for maybe a week and a half and I just enjoyed living in this robe. So this is the Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Robe and I have it in the purple heather color. I got a size 2 in this. I'm a size 16 plus right now so if you're smaller than me definitely don't get a size 2. But if you're from like a 12 to 16 ish get a two if you're anything larger I would say you might need a three but these do stretch out a bit I adore this you can wear this with just your lingerie under it you can wear it over pajamas and loungewear but this is the most soft and sumptuous robe ever if you live in an extremely cold climate this is something I think you would really enjoy also it's just fabulous. Okay, I have a few more clothing items to share. The first is my Adidas SST or something trap jacket. This is just the OG Adidas zip up trap jacket. I am obsessed. I purchased this probably almost a year ago. I got it in a size extra large. I want to say maybe they do have plus sizes in this, but if not, if you're larger, ladies, get in the men's section. This is just perfect for throwing on when I'm going to run errands and I want to look a little cuter than just wearing a tank top or something and it's also a little breezy or a little cool. That has just been a favorite of mine this month. 
And the other two fashion items are activewear pieces. So first I want to share a pair of activewear bottoms. I got these from Yvette Sports. As you guys know, I work with them sometimes on activewear videos. And the first time I worked with them, they sent me a pair of lower support uh, activewear capris and they just fell down. Like I have a lot of body. I need something that's gonna be like thick and really conform to my body and give me the support that I need and not make me look like a blob. So I really enjoy these. They have a little drawstring detail in the front in case you need to tighten them. I got these in a size 2XL. Um, be sure to check out their sizing chart because their sizing runs a little different from what you're probably used to. But I love these because they're high support, they're comfortable, they're stretchy, they have pockets. And they also have mesh detailing at the bottom of the leg. So if you see the mesh detailing, it goes all the way up to the thigh area. I will insert a picture of myself wearing these leggings, but I love them. I wear them for workouts. I wear them for errands. You guys know I pretty much live in active wear clothes for half of the week, and those have been a favorite of mine. I also have a coupon code if you guys are interested. I will put it across the screen and put it in the description box below. And the next item from Yvette Sports that I've been loving is one of their sports bras. They have probably sent me 10 sports bras now. And this is the one that I've been loving this past month. It's a little different from the other styles that I traditionally love, but this is more like a regular traditional sports bra. It doesn't zip up. It doesn't have any underwire, but it has molded cups inside, which are not removable. It has this really pretty blue and white piping. It has this mesh detail in the back so it's very breathable it does have adjustable hooks and i take this in a 3xl d through f i love this sports bra you guys know that i always talk about how comfortable the yvette sports fabric is <laughs> now this is obviously not one of their most stylish ones i think last month i shared an orange one that is so stylish because it has like crisscross detailing in the back but this is great for just everyday wear this is also nice for wearing when i'm going out and running errands because it does come up a little higher in the center so i feel like i have more support and i'm not bouncing around I love this. I just can't say enough about their fabric. It's four-way stretch. It helps to whip away moisture, but the most important thing is that it's soft and comfortable. And also, they have really nice sizes that go all the way up, I think, to a 5XL D through F. So if you are straight size or plus size, they have options for you. And I always say I've never found such fashionable sportswear and activewear for plus size women, so I am hooked. Even if they didn't sponsor videos and I had to purchase them myself I would because it's that great Whew, okay the last two things I want to share are luxury items the first is a bag that I've been using since I purchased it and I am hooked and this is my Louis Vuitton bum bag in the monogram it's about it's been since June when I purchased it uh, I got it pre-loved I am obsessed it has a little bit of uh, watermarks on the handle but I've been using this like I said pretty much nine times out of ten when I leave the house just because of the pandemic I don't really like to have a bag that is flopping around on my arm that people could be breathing on and touching or that I have to set it down anywhere I like having this close to my body uh, more often than not I wear it like a traditional fanny pack but I have started to wear it across my body and it looks so cute I guess I can show you guys just quickly well I have one to see through top but I do wear it across my chest and it does fit I do have space to breathe and such but I'm just so satisfied with this purchase I did not want this bag for the longest time because I thought fanny packs were going to be very trendy but honestly in this pandemic year this is all that I want to carry and I'm in love with this I also have a Gucci one but it's more flat so I love this because I can keep everything in here hand sanitizer keys mask phone um weapons that I need to protect myself when I'm out and about literally everything that I need fits in here and I am obsessed 
Okay, and the last item that I want to talk about today is also from Louis Vuitton. And this is my Louis Vuitton Monogram Keep All 50 Bandolier. And I purchased this pre-owned once again for my birthday, so back in June. And I used this bag twice this month, and I'm obsessed, you guys. So this bag, I can't remember how old it is, but it's definitely pre-owned. I don't think it's vintage. I do need to go get my initials, hot stamps on it. But I love this. I always wanted to add this to my collection. And when we were getting more into our quarantine year, and I realized that I'm not going to be able to take any actual vacations I said let me just use some of that money and buy myself something that I've always wanted I am so pleased with that purchase now it does get fairly heavy so if I used it and went through the airport I would have to either have a guy carry it for me or I'd have to roll it on top of a suitcase because it does get fairly heavy but for car trips it's perfect if you're just running to spend the weekend or the night somewhere. I am obsessed. I would say get it pre-loved because the newer Louis Vuitton canvas is just not as durable and you really want a piece that's going to last and last and last. Whew. Those are all the items I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my September favorites. I cannot believe that we are almost in October. When I tell you guys this year has flown by, it literally feels like it was just March and I was coming home from Texas. Um, this year has been so hard. I always talk about it. It's just... This has been one of the hardest years ever, but I guess I'm glad that it's speeding by. I hope that things start to look up for each of us who are watching this video for our country and our world overall. It's just been a really tough year, but I'm happy that October is coming. I have a lot of things to celebrate, a lot of birthdays, and hopefully October will be a great month for all of us. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.